Kyle, what are your thoughts on Bitcoin? Hmm. <laughs> You're hitting me with a bunch of hard questions here. <laughs> um, you know, Bitcoin, early on, I summarily dismissed Bitcoin and, uh, and I shouldn't have. Um, I didn't understand, truthfully, I don't understand uh, the depth of the, the algorithms, the technology and the, the, the fundamental foundation of Bitcoin, I didn't understand. I spent a lot of time trying to understand it in the last, call it six months. And I believe that, that the digital asset class of cryptocurrency is a real asset class. But in terms of kind of how the world views digital currencies, you know, we, we talk, when you look at, at global cash positions today, given global QE, they're now north of 110% of global GDP. So we're talking about almost $100 trillion worth of cash in the world. That has never happened before in world history. And so when I think about uh, inflation, you're starting to see wages move. You're starting to see the price of all goods and services move. The thing that's been really deflationary in the globe has been technology. It's been a, a very positive deflationary force. And I think that's kind of, pl that's played out. The technological deflation has played out. So now I think you're gonna start to see inflation and wages move, and this gets into cryptocurrency. The collective value of cryptocurrency is a little over $100 billion today. Right? Global M2, global cash, it's like 80 trillion, $100 trillion. So what's $100 billion? You know, the question is, what's it worth? And as a store of value, medium exchange, and other currency, I don't, think there's any, I don't think there's any true institutional investor has any money in Bitcoin. I know some have a little bit. Uh, you know, they have nominal amounts invested. But I think it will be an asset class that will work over time. I'm not sure how to value it yet. I really have no idea. Do you own it? Uh, I don't. No Bitcoin, no Ether? I don't. Are I mean, you tempted? I, I, I say I wish I did. But I think there's well, a digital... Well, because you could have bought a lot lower. I think there's a digital gold rush that's gone on. I think a whole bunch of people are going to lose a lot of money, right? That, these ICOs, you're going to see a bunch of them go completely broke. There are, a bunch of them are frauds. And um, that's going to be problematic for all the people that just rushed in. Uh, and, and so I, I feel like it's a bit of a mania at the moment. But I think in the long term, it's a viable asset class. So at what point do you get in? Well, I'll let you know when I do. <laughs>